And I like that kind of worship. But they don't want to let it go. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Right now. Right now, Lord. Amen. Thank you, God. We give God the highest praise. Hallelujah. The highest praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We give glory to our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Even though we don't know exactly what day, we choose this day to worship him and to honor his birth. Amen. Amen. And to the Holy Ghost. Amen. God's spirit that dwells within us. Yes. We give God, God honor. We give him glory. Yes. Vandalus Holloway, we praise God for you. Yes. Deacon Wiseworth, Deacon uh, Robinson, we praise God for you. Amen. All our beautiful members, mm -hmm. visiting friends, we greet all of you in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. It's good to be here one more time in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Don't, don't want to prolong the time, but there is a word from the Lord. And we'll be coming from Luke chapter number two. Amen. Lo and behold, God got you a Christmas message. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what, what better thing to talk about on Christmas yes. is than the birth of our Lord Jesus the Christ. Amen. Amen. Luke chapter number two. I'm beginning reading that verse number seven. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them and the glory of the Lord shone round about them and they were so afraid and the angel said unto them fear not for behold I bring you good tidings of great joy in other words I bring you good news mm -hmm. which shall be to all people for unto you this day is born in the city of David a savior which is Christ the Lord and this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find a babe in swaddling clothes lying in a manger. Suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, peace. good will towards men. Hallelujah. And it came to pass that the angels were gone away from them into heaven. The shepherds said one to another, let us now go into Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord has made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in the manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherd. But Mary kept all those things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, speak, Lord. Be for your servant is listening. Anoint the ears and the hearts of your people that they may hear and understand what the Spirit is saying to the church. Mm -hmm. And now, Lord, let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, be acceptable in your sight, for you are my rock and my redeemer. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 They came with haste. Somebody say they couldn't 
wait to get there. Mm -hmm. I see maybe some of y'all coming in here in the parking lot on two wheels. <laughs> Couldn't wait to get to church this morning. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Y'all came with haste. Amen. To worship Jesus the Christ. We'd like you for a subject. We want to give to you this morning, all of you. <laughs> Jesus is calling. <laughs> Amen. I want to I want to leave you with a subject this morning. Simply, glory to God. Thank you. Glory. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Do you have a reason to give glory to God? Do you have a reason to praise the Lord? Do you have a reason to fall on your face before him? And give him glory, honor, and praise. Amen. He is worthy to be praised. Yes. Amen. Amen. When you understand what he means to you. See, Jesus asked his disciples once. He said, who do men say that I am? Mm -hmm. And they said, some say you are John the Baptist. Some say you are Jeremiah or one of the other prophets. And then he turned to his disciples and said, well, who do you say that I am? And Peter spoke up and said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. In other words, Jesus don't mean the same thing to everybody. That's right. Amen. But what does he mean to you this morning? Amen. Is he just a little baby that's in the little manger with Mary and Joseph looking down over him and a star. You know, the little lights that you see in the yard. Is that all he means to you? Yeah. Are we more, amen, captivated by every other thing that goes on in this holiday season? But I just wonder if there's anybody here that knows him as Emmanuel. Yeah. Knows him as your Lord and your Savior. Anybody that knows him, amen, as Jesus, the one that was promised to come here and save us from our sin. Hallelujah. See, this was prophesied before he was even born. And look at him. Look, I want to show you something here. God prophesied, amen, through his servant that he would be born through a virgin. Amen. What's significant about that? Well, he, wanna, he wanted to make it, amen. See, all the other births came the natural way. That's right. Amen. But this one would be something else. And it almost seemed impossible. But God wanted to prophesy, this is how it's going to be. So you won't make no mistake about which one is the Jesus that I'm talking about. Lord have mercy. Yeah. See, amen. I done heard other folks say they was the Savior. There's false prophets that have said yeah. they are the one that should come. But it ain't but one Jesus. And, G and God made it plain through the prophets. And the Bible said, amen. Just as it happened, just as it was prophesied, it happened on that day. She brought forth her for firstborn son, wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger because there was no room in the end. Right. Amen. I'm going somewhere. I want to set this thing up because I want to see, I want you to see just how powerful this thing is. Amen. And it's not just a Christmas story. It has something to do with us right now. Hallelujah. Amen. So when this happened, it was prophesied and then it happened and then the angels appeared to the shepherds. In the field, amen, watching over their flocks by night. And the angels declared, this is how you know who we're talking about. This is how you will know that it's the Savior that's been born. This is how you will know. You will find him. This is the sign in verse 12. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes. 
lying in a manger. Lord have mercy. See, sometimes in our life, God gives us things, uh, he places things before us that may seem impossible. Amen. But when he brings us through, we know it's nobody but the Lord that brought us through. So God will give us a word. You got to hear the word. You got to believe what God said. And you got to watch him do it just like he said he would do it. Amen. See, amen. Mary being a good mother. See, when they laid the baby, when they wrapped him up in swaddling clothes, that was a form of love and, and caressing the child that his limbs, amen, might grow straight. In those days, if you didn't wrap him, that was a form, they considered as a form of child abuse because you weren't taking care of that child. So look at, look at how God set this up. I know Mary is going to be a good mother because remember, the prophecy had already went forth. So if God said it, it's got to come to pay. Amen. She couldn't just lay the baby over there somewhere. Amen. And, and just let him roll around on the bed or something. He had to be wrapped in swaddling clothes. I'm trying, I'm trying to help somebody understand. See, some of us, we too busy praying to God for something to answer our prayer. But when we, when we get the answer, we want to turn it into something else. That's right. That's right. Let me move on here. Not only did he say uh, the child, this is the, the Savior will be wrapped in swaddling clothes. Amen. This is the sign. You will find him in a manger. Now them shepherds say, hold up now. We deal with animals. Why would the baby be in a, a trough where we feed the animals? Come on now. How many of us can ask for the answer to our prayer. Lord, give me, uh, I want I want my own business. I want a, uh, I want a prosperous career path. I want me a tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> I want, Lord, I want me a Coke bottle. But then when God send you a half gallon jug, when God see you, not tall, dark, and handsome, but short, light, and not quite so handsome, we tell the Lord, Lord, I don't want that. But God is trying, he already, the Bible says, before you was conceived, I had already ordained you. I had already figured it out for you. What I want you to have, how I want you to do. Where I want you to go and what purpose you have under the sun. Yes. Hallelujah. But we change, we want to change God's will yes. to fit our own. Right. Lord, help us today. Right. God said, listen, he sent the angel to say, this, you will find him lying in a manger. Yes. And look how God fixed it. Uh. Everybody had to go to their own hometown. That's right. Say Amen. Everybody had to go pay taxes. Around this season in their own hometown. Yeah. So by the time all them people got back to their hometown in Bethlehem, all the hotel rooms yeah. were used up. Amen. And then Mary like, this joker coming out. We need somewhere. Yeah. I got to have this baby. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the Bible and say, when the time was fulfilled, yeah. that Mary should bring forth that child. There was no room in the end. God fixed it like that. Yes, amen. I'm trying amen. to help y'all. Amen. Sometimes, brothers and sisters, you just got to rest in the will of God. Amen. Amen. You ask him for healing. Now let him heal you the way he want to heal you. Amen. <laughs> amen. Lord, help us today. You ask him for whatever you ask him for. Now let God. Let God. Work it out for you. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Amen. Mary could have said, you know what, uh, Joseph, we ain't going. Jesus ain't going to be born in no manger today. And no stable. Check, tell him to check again. 
If they ain't got no triple, we want a double. If they ain't got no double, give us a single. Or give us the room where the, where the manager stay or something. But I ain't going in no state. But she said, you know what? It's time. <laughs> Help me, Holy Ghost. Somebody ain't getting this. But I want you to understand something. You got to believe. Because he's going to do it. Just like he said he's going to do it. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man word. It won't come back to me void. But it will accomplish the thing I set it out to do. The Bible says that the angel, meanwhile the angel, amen, was declaring this good news to the shepherds. And the Bible says you will find him, amen, wrapped in swaddling clothes. Lying in a manger. And the Bible says suddenly there was praising God and, and saying glory to God in the highest yeah. on earth peace yeah. good will towards men yeah. Lord I thank you today because God does just what he said and one that repent then 99 that don't need no repentance yeah. but when we see somebody come in the church that don't normally come in the church. Eyes out. Like what they. Doing in here. Amen. When they start elevating in the glory of God. We want to start being jealous. Said they ain't been no member for 90 days. They can't do this, this and thus. Lord and the Bible said came to pass. When the angels was gone away. And I'm about to let you go right here. Amen. The Bible say the shepherds said, let us go now and see what is going on. Listen, God sent the angels with a message. And sometimes you might hear, amen, preachers introduce other preachers. Amen. As the angel of this house. Now, I'm not saying I got wings on my back. I'm not a cherubim. But an angel ain't nothing but a messenger come from God. So I am a messenger come from God. And I give you the word of the Lord. I don't come here telling you what I want to tell you. Because some Sundays you might not be able to handle what I want to tell you. Amen. I might not be able to handle it. So I have to say what thus saith the Lord. That way I have something to stand on. So when you come to me and say, Pastor, you shouldn't have said that. Amen. I say, look at what God said. Now tell me if I should have said that. Amen. So they told them. And the, amen. What they said, let us go see what's going on. See, what you got to do, brothers and sisters, when you come to church, amen. Stop, amen. Get some good sleep at night so you won't sleep in here. So you can hear what God is saying to you. Stop thinking about everything else you got to do. And start thinking about Jesus when you come up in here. Put him first on your mind. And when the preacher speak the word of the Lord. You got to say let me see if God can do this thing in my life. When I start preaching about salvation. That he'll clean you up from your sin. He'll set you free. And give you a peace in your life. You got to say Lord let me see. Let me see if you can do this thing in my life. Hallelujah. When I say God I pour out blessing. Amen. Out of the windows of heaven. You got to see if God can do this thing. When I tell you God will make your cup overflow. You got to say I got to see if God can do this thing. And when I tell you God said I, I can give you peace that pass all understanding. You got to say, Lord, I got to see if you can do this thing. Lord, I thank you. So they came with hate. They didn't mess around. They didn't sit there talking about it. You know, like a lot of us, we'll hear a plan. And it sound real good. But we got to have a meeting about it. And once we meet about it, we 
got to have a meeting about the meeting that we had about it. And before long, another year done passed. And we ain't done nothing. You got to start moving with haste. Amen. Tomorrow's not promised. When you hear the word of the Lord, say, I got to get in a hurry. Got a blood is running warm in my veins. I got to see what God can do. Thank you, Lord. Some of us been waiting around. We had a New Year resolution last year. The same one 10 years ago. And now it's about to be a new year. And you about to lie to yourself one more time. Because you ain't in no hurry to do what God said do. Lord, I thank you. But when they came, this is what I want to get to. Amen. When they came, they found the baby. Just as God had said, they found him wrapped in swaddling clothes. They found the baby lying in a manger. Ain't the Lord all right? When God speak it, amen, you can expect it because that's what God going to do. I can remember when the man had two sons. One man, the son, one of the sons did everything the father wanted to do. But the other son said, Father, give me that portion that belongs to me. The father gave it to him and he went out and wasted all his money with right to living, doing it and everything. Found himself, hallelujah, in a hog pen, looking at the hog food, wanting to eat the hog all food. And he said, wait a minute. Hallelujah. I got food at my father's house, but I'm starving out here in a hog pen. What I'm trying to tell you, I believe that father was a godly father. I be they don't talk about what he did while the man was gone, but I believe that father was praying for his son to come back home. I believe he was praying that God will make a way somehow. I believe God gave him a word. I'm going to bring your child back home. I know he in a far place right now, but you just hold on and I'm going to bring him back home. Why would I say that? And what does have to do with what I'm talking about right now? Well, it's only when God gives you a word that you got something to hold on to. Because the Bible said when that son made up his mind to come back home, the father ran to him and hugged him. Which let me know he must have been looking for it. He must have been anticipating. Every day he wasn't there. He was looking down the road. Maybe he gonna come home today. Lord, he ain't come home today. Lord, what you gonna do? God said, wait. Wait, I say on the Lord. And be of good courage. If you wait on the Lord. And be of good courage. He will renew your strength. Your mouth will win like eagle. Hallelujah. When he saw that son coming up the road, hardly recognized him. He had a robe with him, had a ring with him. He was ready for that day. And some of y'all been praying for healing. And God ain't healed you yet. But you keep on waiting on the Lord. He gonna do it just like he said he gonna do it. Hallelujah. If he gonna bless you, if he told you I'm gonna open up the window, you can expect it. And then Lord ain't opened them up yet. He done opened the door, but not the window. The window gonna open. You just hold on a little while longer. If he said he's gonna bring you peace and trouble keep finding you, you just keep on trusting in the Lord. Because one day, keep looking for peace. And if you seek, you will find it. It's going to come to you. And when it comes, it's going to come just like he said it. And the Bible said, when the shepherds returned, they was glorifying God for all the things that they had heard. And not only heard, but they saw it with their eyes. Not only did they see it with their eyes, 
But if they saw just what was told to them, that was going to happen. Thank you, Lord. Not only was Jesus born, but he suffered, bled, and died. Rose on the third day with all power in his hand. Hallelujah. Sent it into heaven. And one day he coming back for a church without spot or rancor. Thank you, Lord, for giving us Jesus on that first Christmas morn. Thank you, Jesus. And I give him glory today. I give him honor today. No matter what else happened, I know he deserved the praise. Because God has been good to us. Hallelujah. He's been good to us. Gave us a means for salvation. He came into this world. Hallelujah. To save his people from their sin. And I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Didn't have to do it. But I'm so glad. I'm so glad he did. And I give him glory. Hallelujah. There may be one today who don't have not received the most blessed gift. And that's Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. We're going to open the doors of the church. Let us all stand. What better day to receive Jesus as your Lord? He said, though your sins be as scarlet, I will make them white as snow. Thank you, Jesus. He said that. And believe me, brothers and sisters, he will wash you from your sins. Thank you, Lord. If you repent and are baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, he will give you the blessed gift of the Holy Ghost. For by no other name under heaven, whereby men shall be saved, than the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus the Christ. Will you come today? Wow. They glorify and praise God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. What has God told you? Has He told you He'll bless you? Has He told you He'll turn around for you? God, our Father, we give you glory today. We give you glory for the gift of life. That's right. We give you glory for the gift of salvation mm -hmm. that comes through your Son, Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, for washing us from our sins. Yes. We thank you, Lord, for another, yet another chance yes. to get it right with you yes. before you come back for us. Yes. We thank you, Lord, for your grace and your mercy. Thank you. We thank you for your love and kindness. You. And your compassion. Yes, Not only do you see us. In the condition we are in. Yes. But Lord you are moved with compassion. Yes. To change our condition. Yes. We thank you for all the many promises. Yes. You have told us in your word. Yes. Now Lord I pray that you give your people faith. Yes. As they hear your promises. To believe you and take you at your word. Yes, Father God, I pray that you pour out that blessing. Yeah. Honor their faith, Lord, and pour out that blessing. For all good gifts come down from the Father of life. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. We thank you for this day. Thank you for this hour of worship. Mm -hmm. And we pray, God, that this word will settle in somebody's heart. Yes. That their faith will be renewed. For faith will come by hearing. And hearing by your word. We thank you now. And we give you honor. We give you glory. We give you praise. All these blessings we ask in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Amen.